always in the beta, bro. God, what a night. God, Murphy's law in full effect. Again. Nitin! Nitin! Nitin, bro, bro, Nitin, wake up, dude. You irritating, bro. Just leave me alone. Bro, do you know what time it is? Time to sleep. Bro, it's three o'clock. So what, dude? There's nothing to do. Go away. Bro, do you know what the date is? You playing games, dude? It's August first. No! Anisha is gonna kill me, dude. Don't say that, bro. It's my wedding. How can I forget my own wedding day? Bro, enough with the drama. We can make the flight, okay? Oh. Remember that Manali trip? We had an exam the next day, bro. We went for the exam. We still made it, and we killed it. You killed it. I failed miserably. Oh yeah, that's true. But we can still make the flight, dude. We just have to do a web check-in and book a cab. Did you see my phone? Oh shit! I think I dropped my phone. You only get up when you need your phone, no? It says I can't web check-in. Wait, I'll call them. Call who? The airlines. I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. Bro, it's not gonna work. Hello, Priya from customer care. Listen to me. Uh, can you help me out a little bit? Uh, because I can't seem to web check in. You call that shouting? Uh, flight number seven E six five four. Yeah, go out to Bangalore. I got it on discount, correct? Uh, today's my wedding day. I need to reach Bangalore somehow. Can you help me out, please? What? Sorry, sir. I understand this is a big day, but we'll be moving your flight late in the night. We regret any inconvenience caused. To help you out, we'll give you an Amazon gift card worth rupees ten thousand. Ten thousand? Wow, bro. Madam, I don't want your gift card and all. You please, I need to get to Bangalore. You can't do this to me. Sorry, sir. We won't be able to help you further. Have a great day. What am I gonna do? It's my wedding day, bro. Should I take the ten k? Bro, it's all in the data, bro. We got overbooked. Overbooked? Yeah, overbooked. I'll explain. Okay. Right board. That's correct. See what airlines do is they sell more tickets than they have seats on the plane. Hey, nonsense! People will be standing in the aisles. Then imagine the takeoff. Hey, not everyone gets on the plane if it's overbooked. Oh my gee, that's happened before, bro. It's a common practice where all airlines overbook flights, so when the flight takes off, no seat is empty and they don't lose any money. It's like this, bro. Like imagine your mom invites over ten guests for Sunday lunch. Say some three of them don't make it. There will be food wastage. Hey, how will she know who's gonna come, who's not gonna come? Good question. You're actually listening. If you look closely at historical data, there's always that one family member that you can never trust. Last minute, they'll be like, "Oh, sorry, my dog's puking. Oh, we all got sick at the same time." It's like that cousin that you don't like that always bails out. Oh, that idiot, ah, Sachin. He's always like that. Since airline companies are sitting on so much data, hundreds of planes, millions of passengers, they know who's checked in, who's not, who's boarded, where you're going, what's your sun sign, everything. Smart people like me use machine learning and algorithms to build predictive models. Models are not those kind of models. These are computer programs and algorithms that go through vast amount of data, analyze patterns, and predict future events. What I want to know is how will the algorithm specifically predict that Nitin from Bangalore will be overbooked on this flight? Like, what are the reasons? Is it because I'm a 28-year-old who doesn't know what he's doing in life? <laughs> that might be true, but it is also based on a lot of different factors like traffic, weather, day of the week. Festival seasons, whether it's business class or economy class, individual travel or family travel, even political and environmental, early check-in and booking information help to enhance prediction accuracy. For instance, people who check in early and families are less likely to cancel. Also, flight disruptions are frequent and can lead to overbooking. They do this by using a lot of statistics. Statistics are that maths only, no. I don't understand. All this is giving me nightmares, bro. Also in school, I wasn't good at studies. Eleven out of ten would agree with that. That means? <laughs> no wonder you failed. Let me tell you how to not get overbooked. Book with a large group. Make sure there's a small kid in the group. Make sure you check in early. Late check-ins means that you're lazy, which you are, and you will get cancelled. Hey, bro, you should have told me all these things earlier, no? Maybe it's the universe giving you second chances. Yeah, hey, all that. Oh, Anisha, bro. She and her parents called me fifty times already. Hello? 
babe no 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 listen to me I, i'm really sorry i got overbooked what do you mean overbooked don't lie to me that is been one go and call some 500 guests. no i'm not lying <laughs> should i tell her dad he overbooked because data bro that's a good one i'm telling you i'll see you soon i'll see you soon i'm i'm telling you no i'll see you nathan are you going to come in and sleep Hello madam wrong number Trust me you don't want to know what happened but if you want to know how airlines decide their overbooking strategies with simple case studies like this then you should check out data science and machine learning courses on scaler relevant links in the description below